You've come out to an area in Christchurch known as Avonside Drive, obviously beside the Avon River that you can see here. And it's a significant place to come because this area has changed a lot because of the earthquakes. Looking across the river there, you can see abandoned houses and spear sections because of the damage that was done during the earthquakes. The area has been red zoned, so you're not allowed to build on this area again in the future. Also looking at the river, it looks really straight, Andrew. Looks like it might have been changed over time. You've got some great images here that show changes. Can you talk us through them? Yeah. Well, what we've got here is we've got, a, we've got an image which is straight after the, um, the February 11, uh, 2011 earthquake. And as you can see, it looks pretty much like we are today. We've got the rowing pontoons, which are just down here. The nice straight bit of river. The houses, okay, there's a few missing now. But you've got the houses and a huge, dense housing area across the road there. Yeah. And so pretty much similar to what we see today, but a few missing. But if we do a bit of time travel as much as we can and jump back to 1955, this image here, you can see all of a sudden the rowing clubs aren't there. None of the houses across the, row, uh, the river are there. The river, there's essentially farmland. There's a little bit of development, but mainly it's farmland. The river's still straight like it is now, but looking a little bit different. And then we do our time travel again, and we're lucky enough to have an image here from 1941 of wow. the same area. And all of a sudden, things have changed dramatically. The river is a lot thinner the whole way along. And in fact, the piece of river that we're standing on now, it's not there. Yeah, it looks a lot more natural as well. Yeah, the river, the river now goes behind us, so the, the course of the river has obviously been changed between this 41 and 55 over here. And as you can see, there's actually no houses across. It's essentially a really big farm. So imagery is about as the best way we can actually go back in time because we have a snapshot of um, pictures in time. So it gets to see what was there before and what is now. And looking at these images, you can see that things can change dramatically because of an event like an earthquake, or more gradually as we develop areas, houses are built, and even in this case, rivers are changed. So are there other examples of where historic aerial images are useful? Yeah, one of the really um, important things now in Canterbury is that we're actually looking at new subdivisions. So new places are being built. So it's now a case of actually we should look back to see what was there before you know what what was the farmland used for because we don't want to potentially make the same mistakes that have happened where we've built on areas that may not have been suitable for housing so it's, it's imagery is the best way to have a look back and see what we've got yeah by looking at things like this you can see where the land is potentially weak because of the river um, areas perhaps that are swamp that should not be built on and um, we're going to actually look at how these images are going to be used in planning subdivisions next.